take it all. No, please. That's all the water I have to spare. You're a moisture farmer. Far more. But, but the drought. It, it took months to gather that much. I needed to trade for food. Please, I have children. You, you can't do this. Can't? Maybe you'd like to come tell Jabba the Hutt to his face what he can and can't do. Hmm? No. <laughs> Didn't think so. We'll be back tomorrow to collect more taxes. Until then, I suggest you all get back to work. As hard as it was to become a Jedi, it was even harder to stop being one. But I did. By the time of the Great Drought, it had been years since I touched a lightsaber. Years spent hiding on Tatooine. Years spent alone. I wasn't General Obi-Wan Kenobi anymore. I was no longer a Jedi Master. I was only Ben. Quiet old Ben who lived far out in the Dune Sea, where nothing but Womp Rats and Tusken Raiders ever dared to go. Ben the Forgotten Hermit. Ben the Relic. One day blurred into the next, with little to distinguish them. Instead of Sith Lords and Bounty Hunters, my days were spent battling monotony and inactivity. I should have been busier than ever. I should have been training the boy, but his uncle never allowed it. I suppose there was a part of me that couldn't blame him. The last Skywalker I tried to train was gone. They were all gone. All the Jedi. And sometimes I wondered if I should have gone with them. But I did still have one job to do. And I did the best I could. Whose place is this? The Lars family. According to the records, they've never paid their water tax? How did we let that happen? We'll make up for it right now. Take every last drop. What the? It's too hot for death wishes, old man. Move along and die of thirst like everybody else. You've taken enough water for the day. You should head back to Jabba's before a dust storm comes. And I should mind my own business. We've taken enough water for the day. We should head back to Jabba's before one of those dust storms comes. And you should mind your own damn business, old man. If I couldn't train the boy... I could at least keep him safe, and hope there would come a day when he'd realize for himself that he was meant to be more than just a farmer. It was the worst drought anyone could remember. The moisture farmers could barely gather enough water from their vaporators to keep themselves alive, let alone to trade in town for food and supplies, especially with Jabba's thugs collecting water taxes. Rumor was that the bloated gangster took lavish baths all throughout the day, lest he perspire in the heat. But I didn't believe that rumor. I'd met Jobber. Jobber had never bathed in his life. But it was no rumor that people were dying, and I was letting it happen. You never trained me for this, Master Qui-Gon. You never taught me how to fade away. Rocks. You want to sell me rocks? You must be heat-crazed, old man. People here need water. You can't drink from a stone. Get out of my tent. These aren't stones and you can drink from them. They're black melons that grow in the Junlin wastes. When you crack them open, there's milk inside. It tastes horrible, but it's safe to drink. Tuscan raiders have been drinking them for years. You should tell the farmers that they can find them and- There they are! You can't keep taking our water! People are dying! Go back to your farms, all of you, or you'll wish you had. Not without our water! You won't need water once you're dead. Take him down. The guns all misfire. At the same time, how is that? Get him! Take the water back! I shouldn't have done that, and I knew it. There was too much at risk. After that day, I decided it was best if I didn't go into town anymore. There's a strength and nobility in restraint. I know that's what you tell me, Master Qui-Gon, but nothing about this feels noble. The people here are dying, while I do nothing. I cannot fight as a Jedi. I cannot train the boy. I am lost here, Master. Lost and... Oh no. I could sense it from across the Dune Sea. Oh, where is he, Owen? I can't see him anywhere. The one job I still had left, I had just failed at. Luke! Where are you? Well now, what have we here, boys? 
I caught him trying to steal water off the speeder. That right, kid. You were trying to steal Jabba's water? It's not Jabba's. It belongs to the farmers. I was just taking it back. All by yourself, huh? I'm... I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> You're a terrible liar, kid. We'll see if you make a better slave. Throw him in the back with the jugs. Lights all blue. You sure you came alone, kid? <laughs> what? Something got me. I can't. What's dragging him? There's nothing there. There's smoother. <laughs> this is highly improbable. There's something out there picking us off one by one. Shoot it. Out of the way, kid. <laughs> My gun, I, I can't hold it. It's... Perhaps we should head back to Jabba's palace. Just to be... No. We have the kid. You hear me out there? We have the boy. Stay back or we will kill him. I swear to you, I will cut him like Bantha. But... But how? We only did what Jabba... <laughs> Owen, he's here. Luke's here. Luke, are you okay? Uh, what, what happened? How did I... The farmers got their water back, enough to survive a bit longer. About a week later, the drought finally lifted and their vaporators started churning again. Jabba was enraged and vowed to scour the desert to find the thief, but no one knew who he was. Not the guards he'd beaten, or the farmers he'd helped. No one knew what he looked like. No one knew what to call him. My name is Obi-Wan Kenobi, the last of my order. But this is not the end of the Jedi. All it took was a young boy's courage to assure me of that. Let us hope that someday soon, I can tell that boy this story. And so many others. It had been a year since the Great Drought. The vaporators were humming again. The desert flowers were blooming. Even here, in the harshest of climates, life carried on, much as it always had. Oh, Luke! You got this! Wow! And you said I'd never make it through Mushroom Mesa, Biggs. Don't get too cocky, Sky Boy. There's still time to call this off, you know. Maybe a few more test flights through Jack Craig before- No can do, Biggs. I was born for this. Yeah, well, let's hope Beggar's Canyon doesn't disagree. Even watching from afar over the years, it was plain to see. Luke Skywalker was his father's son in so very many ways, which was precisely what worried me. Feel the Force, Luke. Feel it flowing through you, if you can. Anakin was the most daring pilot I'd ever seen, even as a boy. Could his son possibly be as strong in the Force? There was only one way to know for sure. Luke, maybe you should slow down a little. It's a pretty tight squeeze. You might- I can do this. This is my only key to getting off the stupid rock someday. First I conquer Beggar's Canyon. Next stop, the stars. Woohoo! Here we go! I suppose it should go without saying, but you're grounded for the rest of your life. I know it looks bad, Uncle Owen, but I can fix it. I just need some new tools and a few parts is all. If you'd let me enter the Anchorhead race, like I've- Race? Luke, you nearly got yourself killed. Owen. No! I never should have let him fly that thing in the first place. Now we're out of speeder. Speeder we can't afford to get fixed. I told you, I'll pay for it myself. If you just let me race, I can win. I'm already the best bush pilot my age on Tatooine. I just clipped the edge of the canyon is all. But the next time, I- Next time? Well, there won't be a next time. When I say you're grounded, I mean that literally. Best get used to walking, Luke Skywalker. Because as long as I live, you'll never fly again. Since my run-in with Jabba's thugs during the drought, I had tried my best to become invisible, to become even more of a hermit and recluse. 
The Hutt was still desperate to find the mysterious man who had defied him. If I needed help, I couldn't risk seeking it in town. I could only maintain my low profile among those who were already lowly. I understand you've had some troubles recently. I know I may not look like much. Perhaps we could be of assistance to one another. The Jawas had recently been victims of several raids. Raids they were unable to protect themselves against. There's still hope, Master Qui-Gon. You thought Anakin was the chosen one. Perhaps in a way he was. If his son shows the same abilities, then just maybe. Obi-Wan Kenobi, bodyguard for hire. I'd had worse jobs. Though the Clone Wars seemed so very long ago and very far away, my war had ended. Badly, as I recalled. But my fight carried on. My thoughts exactly, my friend. This would be far easier with a lightsaber, but I suppose I could use the exercise. I shouldn't have been interfering. I knew that. My orders were to protect the boy and keep him hidden. But I was no Master Yoda. I knew I wouldn't be around for 800 years to watch over him. At some point, Luke Skywalker was going to have to fend for himself. And something told me when that day came, he would need to know how to fly. It took all night, but I imagined the Tusken Raiders wouldn't be raiding there again anytime soon. Though I really did need to devise an easier way to frighten them off. Why couldn't we have hidden the boy on a nice quiet world of natural hot springs? On oh, my back! But it was worth it. For another day at least, I felt like a Jedi again. My only hope was that I wasn't alone in that feeling. We'll take that as well. Do you have anything that speaks bachi? Huh? What's... Uh, no, we're only buying droids. Can't afford anything else. Taniba! Hey, what are you doing? I told you, you're just gonna leave this here? But, but, these are Skyhopper parts! Ha! <laughs> Thanks, Uncle Owen! What was that? Thanks for what? Luke! Remember when I used to complain about the food at the Jedi Temple Master? That was before I had Snake every night for a year. It's a good thing I'm strong in the Force, or I wouldn't be able to force it down. Be right there! We don't get many visitors in the Dune Sea. How can I- You can stay away from my family! Owen! Please, come in! How do you like your snake? I'm not stupid, Kenobi. Just because I haven't flown across the galaxy like you have doesn't make me some sort of ignorant hick. I know what you've been doing. Ever since you showed up, mine is the only house per kilometer that's never been attacked by sand people. It was never raided by Jawas thugs. And now suddenly Jawas are giving us parts for free? Sounds to me like you've been rather blessed, Owen. The Force works in mysterious ways. No, you do, you crazy Jedi, but it ends now. I told you I'm not going to let you warp the boy like you did his father. You brought him to me to protect, and that's what I'm doing. Protecting him from you. I'm not asking to train the boy. You've made yourself quite clear on that matter. But Luke has the potential to be something truly remarkable. Just as his father was before he- Before you got him killed! Haven't you murdered enough Skywalkers already, Kenobi? This one's only a boy. Foolhardy boy is too much like his father as it is. We both know what happens if he ever leaves Tatooine. He won't be coming back. Not alive, at least. I only ever wanted to help. And I believe I've made it clear that we don't want your help. You're a dangerous man, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Whether you see it or not. Trouble always has a way of finding you, doesn't it? Oh, I suppose it doesn't have to look very hard. That trouble's gonna get someone seriously hurt someday. Do us all a favor, and keep your trouble to yourself. He was right. I wasn't very good at keeping out of trouble, even in the middle of a desert. But that trouble would never find its way to Luke. Not while I still lived. And if there was one thing I'd gotten surprisingly good at over the years, other than finding trouble... It was not dying. Just ask Darth Maul, or Count Dooku, or General Grievous. 
Just ask Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> the illustrious Jabba says, You would first like a demonstration of your vaunted skill, before agreeing to your rather ridiculous feat. You may begin this demonstration at once, or else you may begin dying. <laughs> Jabba says, that will do. He will pay you half now, and half when you have found the man who ambushed his water tax collectors during the Great Drought. Deliver this man alive, so that Jabba might watch him die in person, and you shall receive a generous bonus. Or, you may also simply bring us his head. Do you find these terms acceptable, Black Chrysanthemum? <laughs> This is where it happened. About a year ago, during the Great Drought, five of Jabba's saltiest warriors were taken down right here. Cold-blooded killers beaten senseless, hardened war droids smashed with giant rocks. Yet no one saw who did it. No one saw a thing. At least that's what they screamed as Jabba fed them to the Rancor, and we never found any trace of... Black Kersantin? Hello? Is he even... <coughs> Any idea what that means? It means I sure wouldn't want to be whoever he gets his hands on out here. Luke? Luke, listen, I... I got a few parts at Tashi Station. They're not exactly in the best shape, but I thought maybe... We could do some work on that busted Skyhopper together and... Hopefully get it. Well, I just... Luke, I'm really sorry, okay? I... Luke? Baru, have you seen... <laughs> I didn't know it yet, but Luke Skywalker had run away from home. Not for the first time, or the last. I'll go to Mos Eisley. Get on a ship. Any ship. Go anywhere in the galaxy but here. Aunt Baru and Uncle Owen can have Tatooine. I'll take the stars. Though this time, at least, he didn't make it far. Huh? Uncle Owen! Uncle Owen? Aunt Beru? Where is every... Aunt Beru? Luke, you've got to get away from here. What happened? Where's Uncle Owen? It took him. Headed toward the canyons. We've got to find help. Get the other farmers. Get the... What took him? Big. Covered in fur. Strong. Luke, you lock yourself in the maintenance bay. Don't come out until you hear my voice. Do you understand? The maintenance bay. I... I don't understand. I don't know what you want. Why are you... Wait, please. I can't understand your questions. I don't speak... He's not asking you any questions. He just wanted you to scream. Kenobi! I was meditating among the Banthas in the Dune Sea when I felt the disturbance in the Force. Atop the cliff, I tried to slow my breathing, to hide how winded I was from the climb. There was a tightness in my guts that I hadn't felt in years. Fear. Apparently aches and pains of the body weren't the only things that worsened with age. You're Black Chrysanthemum, the infamous Wookiee bounty hunter. I've heard of you. I know why you were forced to leave Kashyyyk, and how you've disgraced your people ever since. Jabba hired you, didn't he? Well, here I am, Bounty Hunter. I'm the man you're looking for. Or am I? You will leave this place at- <laughs> I was really hoping that was going to work. Ben! And that I wouldn't even need the lightsaber. The dangers that would come from outing myself as a Jedi on Tatooine were so great. I didn't care what happened to me, but I had to make sure that no harm would ever come to- ah! The years had made me a fool. A very dead fool. Ah! No, not dead yet. I was worth more alive, he said, so that Jabba could watch me suffer. Terrific! There's something to look forward to.
No! You get away from... From... Uh... Owen, run! It's me he wants. Run before he... Owen, Lars, and I may have had our differences over the years, but the man was no coward. Tatooine did not abide cowards. It turned them to ash. <gasps> Owen! Please, guide my hand, Master Qui-Gon. <laughs> Hold on! I'll get you! I might have blinded him with some dust in his eyes, but even a half-blind Wookiee is still enough Wookiee to make me plenty dead. The only question was... Was I still enough of the Jedi to stop him? Oh no! It's... Huh? How am I not? Don't just float there! Grab something! Ben, I can't reach! Ben! In that moment, I could feel the force flowing through all things. Owen, you have to... Through the banthas lowing in the distance. Through the womp rats hiding in their holes. Almost! Through the Wookiee who was trying so desperately to kill me. Through my own weary flesh. Almost got... Through the people I could not keep from danger. No! Owen, I'm... Through the man I could not save from falling. No! <laughs> Through the boy who would one day save us all. Hang on, Uncle Owen! Next time, Luke, I suggest not cutting it quite so close. Before we finish here, Chrysanthemum, I want you to know... You are, without a doubt, the rudest Wookiee I have ever met. Give up, Chrysanthemum. You're blinded and wounded. You can't possibly... Uncle Owen! Are you okay? I'm, I'm so sorry, Uncle Owen. I know I wasn't supposed to fly the Skyhopper anymore, but I just... I... Luke, get over here. <laughs> I searched for Grisantin among the rocks, but found no body. They breed them tough on Kashyyyk. He had fled off-world, it was said. Jabba was incensed, of course feeling he'd been betrayed by the bounty hunter. It would be a long time before Chrysanthemum was welcome on Tatooine again. Not a word was spoken between Owen and I. I was just happy to see him safely return to his family, just as I returned to mine. Hello, Nara. You're looking well today. What's the matter, Dolo? Why so sad? Life carried on, much as it always had. In this harsh and rugged place where all could seem hopeless, but where sometimes, Inexplicably, new hopes were formed <laughs> in blood and fire and sand and sky. That trouble's gonna get someone seriously hurt someday. Hell, it almost got Luke killed. 
That Inquisitor was this close to... Huh. Look, we're grateful for your help that night, but that doesn't mean we want you interfering in our affairs. It's like you said, we're the only protection Luke needs. So do us all a favor, and keep your trouble to yourself. <laughs>